folks thanks for joining me on my youtube station and in my kitchen and on this sunday night sunday night for you guys friday night for me so when you're going to bed i'm up painting because i don't have to haul my butt out of bed and work tomorrow so lucky me so there we go my base coat's down it is the benjamin moore color sample um not as not as fond of this color as I was the pale yellow but they were just color samples to try and I'm pretty pleased with the way they work so in the end I guess it doesn't really matter that I don't like the color because it wasn't about the color it was about the paint so I was working in shades of pink and I don't know it's getting kind of boring so let's mix it up let's mix it up a bit my friends this is still going to be pink this is Infrared by FX. Quite pretty. It's almost a rose gold. And this is Haynes Gray by Liquitex. My contrast color. And we're just going to mix this up a tiny bit. Ooh, what's she doing, they say? And this is Permanent Violet, again, by Liquitex. This is Fireball from FX. Another shift color. This is um, no, Orchid Flash by Folk Art. This is Paleo Iridescent um red blue and here we have a little bit of sparkly things this one is this is this this is deco art enchanted shimmer it's an iridescent gold and it's gonna go on white and it's gonna dry just like the other ones it's gonna dry perfectly clear and it's just gonna leave behind some little deposits of gold And this one is another folk art. This is um, a white shift paint. And that's not going to be very interesting over top of a white silmix. So let's put another little dab of pink in there just to give it some contrast. Because white on white is going to be pretty boring. And that's it. We'll add a little bit of deco art white satin enamel right in the middle. Tiny bit of black. And then we'll scrunch up my hair and we will blow this piece out. I'm going to add some more of this beautiful color around the edges. It's quite pretty actually. I'm really, I'm quite taken by some of these shift colors by FX. All right, here we go, my friends. Right, we're going to give that a second. We're going to let our center hopefully pop back up. I'm not sure if it's going to or not. My technique on blowing out is tired tonight. My blowout is tired. So let's try to just kind of maybe move a little bit around if I had a straw, which I do somewhere. Maybe we can just gently blow this and get some of these cells in the middle. Maybe, maybe it's going to happen. I don't know, you guys. It doesn't look like it. Let's be a little more aggressive. We're going to modify it anyway, so let's just try it and see what happens. I don't want to wreck any of this because the lacing in here is super pretty, so I would rather compromise the center and modify. So let's just modify right through that, and no one will ever know the difference except you and I, just like that.
Okay, let's do this. Let's tip it about, move some paint from side to side, end to end. Make sure we're gonna have enough to cover our tile. I'm liking the colors already. I even don't mind the little bits of black that didn't fully pop back up, and that's okay, adds contrast. And here we go, this side and that side. We're gonna go down this corner, but we're not going to let the color run off too much. We lost a little bit, that's okay. That is all right, we're gonna stretch it out. There's some pretty cells going on in this piece, you guys. And then we're gonna go all the way back down to that corner. And we are gonna let some of this go off, I think. We gotta get rid of some of it. So we might as well, we'll go right off the corner. And then we're gonna come back. So I'm gonna spin it around just so you guys can see. And we're gonna go back towards the center. All right, now I'm going to do this corner. I'm gonna add a little bit more paint on this corner because I don't really have enough. I can see that. So look at the clumps in there, terrible. So that's that, and then we might as well do this side too. Make sure we have lots of paint on these corners, so we're gonna stretch it off. And we want it to be able to slide well. So first we're gonna go, actually first I'm gonna go this way because I have a fairly thick concentration of paint here, and if I tip it the other way, then this paint is gonna push too much and it's going to wreck the top so let's go off this corner first with a little bit of concentration so you can see watch when i tip it i'm gonna tip it watch this section here this little corner that i just added is pushing so that's why i say let the paint do the work watch how that changes see it go so as much as we're trying to get it off this corner i am watching the upper part it's quite pretty and the corner is quite neat with these two negative spaces so that's when i say let the paint do the work that's what i'm talking about so sometimes you're going to tilt it the opposite way that you you're going to tilt the, the, the way that you want to keep the paint tilted that way and then shift it back if that makes sense keep your paint on the, the weight of your paint on the opposite side you want to keep and then let the paint push the colors just like that all right this is very pink Okay, maybe a good place to modify. It's not my favorite composition, but I do like the colors. They are very pretty. So let's just do this. We're gonna make our little chain. And yeah, I have a kebab stick. I don't even have my normal modifying tool, you guys. But it's a good lesson that pretty much anything works. I do prefer my skewer with the round tip. Maybe I'll grab one. All right, I'm back in action. Here we go. One appetizer skewer. Let's just put some fun little details in. Just for fun. Again, when we do this, we're not pushing all the way down. We're just sort of hovering on the top of the paint and just little swirls, or big swirls, whatever you want. You can do it with whatever you want. Okay, 
And we're just going to add some little details just to make it a little more interesting. Okay, let's do some of the edges. Let's pick an edge and do it. Let's do this. So we're looking at contrasting lines. So we have the dark line from the pink that's in there and we're going over top of the white. So you should really be able to see all these little delicate little details. Again, float it over the top. It doesn't have to be complete curly cues. We're just creating funky little edges. And just little points of visual interest. That's it. fun to modify just so I can I can get myself lost sometimes in just creating little details sometimes too many little details that's where you guys come in anytime you think I'm overdoing it yell at me yell out loud you guys stop 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 you're wrecking everything wouldn't that be nice All right, so there's one funky little petal, and I'm going to turn it around. Let's do some in here. You know what's missing in this piece, you guys? Green. Green is missing. We have floral design and no petals, no green leaves. I'll be all right. I won't whine too much louder about it. So I don't always wipe off. You usually see me wiping off. This time I'm not, and I'm actually just dragging the color from, not dragging, but when I pick up and lift it, some of this peach color will come back down here into the, into the purple. Again, it just adds little details, little variations of color, a little bit of visual interest in your piece, that's all. Okay, that's probably as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to turn it around again and have a look at it. If we go too far, sometimes it just gets a little too carried away. So I'm going to bring you down. Have a look. Bring you over. It's very pink. It's so nice having bright light, you guys. It's lovely. Here we go. We're going to go down. You can see how super uber shiny that is. Yeah, look at that. There's your deco art white satin enamel two-tone cells and all our little embellishments and nice like that. That's how easy that is, guys. You guys can all do this. You can all spin a kebab stick just as well as I can. You got this, guys. It's only paint. Happy Sunday. Hope everybody cozies in and has a good sleep. It's happy Friday to me, so I'm going to stay up for a while painting. And we will talk soon. Thank you very much to everybody for all your support and your kind words and your love. And you guys are awesome. Thanks for now. Bye.